What's up, YouTube? It's still February here, and that's the baby-making month. With Valentine's Day just last week, I'm sure some of your friends have some little buns in the oven. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this binky clip so that baby will never lose this pacifier. If you're a parent, you know exactly how these things just happen to disappear. So I'll show you how easy these are to whip up to save your sanity. Next. So the things you're going to need to make these pacifier clips are some fabric of your choice. At this point, I don't know if any of my friends have been making babies, so I'm going to keep this fabric pretty gender neutral. I'm going to use this black fabric with this colorful paint splash design on it. You're also going to need some quarter inch elastic. Now I just have black here, but you can certainly just use the white kind also. You're going to need some binkies. I got this two pack at Walmart for 97 cents. You're also going to need these suspender and mitten clips. I got this two pack here for a less than $1.50 and I found these at Walmart in the sewing section with the Velcros, the elastic, and the button snaps, things like that. Finally, you're going to need your sewing machine with coordinating thread. I'm going to use black here today and your iron and ironing board. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is square up this side of my fabric. I have it folded in half one time with the salvage to salvage, and then I fold it in half again. You don't need a huge chunk of fabric for this project, so you could probably go rummaging through your scrap bin to find a piece long enough. But the first thing I'm going to do is just square up this edge. And then I'm going to cut a chunk off that's four inches wide. And now I'm just going to cut this strip into two ten and a half inch long pieces. So next I'm just going to cut off the salvage edge here. And I'm going to measure down ten and a half inches. There's one. Then measure down ten and a half more inches. And there's two. As you can see here, I have enough of this strip that I could probably get two more of these pacifier clips. So if you want to, get two boxes of those suspender clips. All right, guys, so now I'm just going to lay this piece off to the side. I'm going to flip my rectangle here over, and I'm going to fold each side over a quarter of an inch and give it a press. Just like that. And you can just go ahead and eyeball this. It doesn't have to be that exact. Now, if you watch any of my previous videos on how I make straps, it's the same process. We're going to fold our rectangle in half the hot dog way and give it a good press. We're going to open it back up and then fold each raw edge into the center, matching it with that crease. It's probably helpful to do one side at a time, so I'm going to go and give this a press. Now you just want to fold the other side down and give that a press. Now finally, we're going to refold this in half on our original crease, and you guessed it, give it a good press. Now you should have a strip that looks like this, that measures an inch wide by 10 inches long. Now our next step is we're going to take this over to our sewing machine and using a straight stitch, using an eighth inch seam allowance, we're going to go ahead and sew down both of these long edges, back stitching at the beginning and the end. All right guys, so I'm over here at my sewing machine. Like I said, I'll be using an eighth inch seam allowance, a straight stitch, and don't forget to backstitch at the beginning and the end.
Now to get a perfect eighth inch seam allowance, I just like to stick my fingers right here and let the sewing machine do all the work. The edge of the fabric is just going to be guided by my finger here and the machine is just going to pull it all through. Now you just want to spin it around and do the exact same thing. All right guys, so now you should have a strip like this with a seam running down both of the long sides here. Now you just want to grab your suspender clips. Now these suspender clips have a front side and the back side. We're going to put this with the back side facing up and you want to stick your fabric through. Now we're just going to fold this over so that way when we sew this together this flap part will be on the back side of the clip so when it's clipped to the baby's shirt you won't see that little flap. Now you just want to take this back to your sewing machine and we're going to sew as close as we can to the clip but don't hit that metal. Alright guys so the way I have this set up is the metal part on the clip here I'm going to run it along the side of my presser foot here and I also adjusted the fabrics. It's just about a quarter inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, to the left here of the needle. I'm going to backstitch at the beginning and the end, and I'll probably go over this about two times. Just like that. Alright guys, so our next step is you want to take your quarter inch elastic and you want to cut a piece about four inches long. I'm then going to fold this in half. And on the opposite end of our clip, if you remember, this opening is still open. So you want to take your elastic, stick it into that opening. I like to stick it down a good quarter to even a half inch. So now you just want to take this over to your sewing machine and with that same straight stitch, about an eighth of an inch in on the fabric, we're going to sew back stitching at the beginning and the end. And just like the clip, I like to go over that about two or three times. Just like that. Now just clip your threads. Now finally, you just want to grab yourself a binky. To use this, you just want to stick your elastic through the loop on the binky. Take the clip, put it through the elastic, and pull. Just like that. And now, you just need a baby to clip it on. This binky's never going to get lost. If you're a mother or know a new mother, you know how important the binky can be and how easily they get lost. One minute, baby has the pacifier. The next minute, 
that thing just disappeared into the ether. If you know any expecting mothers, this will be the perfect gift for the baby shower for that little bun in the oven. I hope you give this video a try. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, go down below and give this video a thumbs up and hit the big red subscribe button. If you have a question about this video or any of my other videos, or would like to leave a suggestion for a future upcoming video, leave me a comment. Feel free to share this video across your social medias. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.